Okay. Good day. Good day. This is me leaving the hotel. So if you look at the hotel during the daytime, which is it's got an appeal and <laughs> a full film crew here today as they have hired or they've all come here to do a photo, photo shoot for a wedding. So it's quite an atmospheric good day. Um, morning and everybody's been getting up really early. <laughs> and uh, this place, there's a, this place, the owner informed me. <laughs> Uh, happens quite a lot of people book the place out and they come here for a party and have their wedding um, here and their photo shoot which is all really good good day buddy morning good morning people say good morning to you before I can say hello it's awesome it really is so I am now off to the bus station to get a bus to Mole Ball I think I wonder if this guy can take me. Hi, hey, you mate. I'm going to the bus station. Bus station? Yeah, not far. Four kilometers. You know the bus station, sir? Uh... Fuck bus terminal. No, the what's it called? The yellow buses. Yeah. Going yeah. To south? Yes. Yes. Can you I take me on here? At the Tabulo Church. Yeah. No. no, no. It's on the main road. On the main road, see there is towards big yellow buses. <laughs> Hang on, because these guys, because they're electric, they cut it's four four kilometers. Can you go? I'll show you on GPS. <laughs> I've got on my GPS because I I walked past it. Mango jeep. What? Mango jeep. Mango bus. No, not mango bus. I'll Where show you. Are you going? I'll show you. mobile. I I show you. Yes. We're going to South. Yes. I know the bus station. You go here, you turn left, and it's on the left. Four kilometers. I walked it yesterday. I have on GPS. I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll show you picture. So I walk everywhere. <laughs> After that, told him where it is. He can only go two kilometers. <laughs> So thank you very much for wasting my time. So I'm on the road. It's meant to rain, meant to have thunderstorms today. And I'm probably going to be on a bus for a few hours. Now I did check the map, which was really good. <laughs> this is Cebu. Twin with Glodok, Jakarta. It is, that is a sad thing about this part of Cebu. I've seen more. Ah, it's just worse, worse than Glodok around that area. So I'm going to walk down to seven, see if I can pick up a cabbie there. Uh, I've stopped using the grab because I, I think I've told you before, when you get grab, when they come to you, they get within a few, well, a kilometer, then they ring you and try to upsell you for more money because the roads are busy. And I now have a 50 peso surcharge because they're, 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 they're tossers. So I don't use the grab in the Philippines, leave it alone. The best way, uh, the meter cabs have been the best. They've been cheaper than the quote from grab. Uh, yesterday I got on the back of a motorbike. I looked at grab from the, the seaside place, said to 270. Motorbikes will come out, the motorbike guy was coming. And he said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I had the, my, my hotel on the GPS, I showed him how far it was, where it was. Uh, and he's like, yeah, 250, that's fine. So, you gotta wing it, man. Use grab as an indicator, and then get a taxi driver to do the journey. Same, same. Saves a lot of rubbish. So. Well, I'll find the motorbike guy here. There's a taxi there, having a little toot. Ah, oh, man. Now, the thing is, with all the litter and rubbish around here, there's no need, because it's a massive industrial area. And, uh, the, look, and all they sell is this materials handling stuff. All these trucks, all around this area, you've got, all right, buddy? 
Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. And so, uh, but the whole place is is uh, a nightmare. It's a mess. So it looks like. Uh, <laughs> look, look. It's just no excuse for all this. And here's this everywhere. I made a whole vlog walking along this street. Whether or not I post it or not, I don't know. Because it's just. It, uh, it, it does me get bored keep reporting on the same rubbish oh man so it looks i'm gonna bloody walk to the bus station man right aha okay i got a bit closer and i've got this tricycle guy how are you mate you good good <laughs> he's a little bit nervous but yeah, just at that junction, I, I see him and um, 100, 100 pesos, he's happy to take me to the bus station, which is up here on the left. <laughs> so I'm having a little tricycle. Oh man, bakery smells good. I'm having a little tricycle race, look. God, oh, man, hey. Hey, yo. you all right, buddy? Yes, okay. Okay, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good, good morning. Yeah. Good day. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. yeah, oh man, he's going pretty quick. We must be going 20, 20 mile an hour. Yeah. Oh man, let's save my walk. <laughs> I'd walked about a kilometre and a half. I was starting to get bored. So um, when I saw the tricycle guys, I thought, wee. And as you can see, we had a little bit of wet weather. So I'm under a bit of cover. Oh man, this guy here, look, he's got a double back seat front and back tricycles probably a good way of transportation for just small little rides you know ah oh, man really good <laughs> so i'll be at a bus station shortly and it does look like it's going to be a grey wet thundery day all right buddy <laughs> Plenty of people on bicycle. Oh man! Oh man! I missed. Well, I didn't. You guys did. Ah, oh, just got bumped. Ah, oh, that was. Mmm. Uh. Ah. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? A film and just turn the camera around and point the other way. And ah, oh, you guys would have loved to have seen an accident right there and there. So they do, you've got to be wary. Uh, that was just, oh man, uh, the guy made a little bit of a misjudgment there, I saw it, and he lost his balance. He, he didn't get wiped out by the vehicle, he just got a little bit um, nervous by it and lost his balance, and that, that's what just happened. Ah oh, man, like I say, <laughs> the streets of Cebu. In Talisay is where I've been staying. By the way. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so the road ahead. Whoa, it's a car that pulled out there, look. Just pulled out. If a truck had been going a bit quick, I would have had another one. Oh man. How many accidents or near misses? show you the river well, we're right in the areas of poverty again wow and I, I was quite surprised to see this in Sibu okay I'm at the bus station oh, where are you on? just down here I'll speak to the security, but they don't go to Molebach here. No. So I've asked. <laughs> security are cool, man. 
I just want some shelter because it's paying down the rain. Are they taxi? Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, 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 chill, man, chill, give us a second. Okay, I'm done. And I'm seven kilometers away from the southern bus station, the south, where I need to go to get the Molbok one. Here, it goes to Oslo. They don't, uh, yeah. So I'm at the wrong bus station, but at least I'm on my way to the right one. And it's an interesting journey, isn't it? I, I don't mind, it literally, you know. I don't mind making the mistakes, just so we, we all know. So I'll have a word with the security and we'll get myself a taxi. So he seems like he's got his brolly. Seems like a good guy. We'll, we'll get there. The South <laughs> bus station. Just here, look. All these buses. <laughs> Had to pay 10 pesos as you come in for the taxi for the taxi to come in, which is really cool and dropped me here. Now that was seven kilometers, right? And a taxi was a meter taxi. And it came to 106 pesos on his meter. Uh, uh, just, just to prove that the taxi meter guys aren't as bad as other people say, they're pretty good. So I give him 150, he was happy. And on the way here, we were both enjoying Guns N' Roses on his radio. So it was good, I'm happy. It was all right, it was a nice, it's all right, I'm enjoying the traveling. I know people say that the Philippines is hard work traveling. Um, I'm not finding that yet. Just needs a little bit of organizing, don't it? But it's all right. And the people make, make it uh, pleasurable. So I'm now going in to the bus station right here. And then I can get a ticket at the ticket office to go to Mole. How do I say, my friend, where am I going? Um, to mobile? Mobile, yes. yes. Mobile is yes. correct. Okay. Okay, I have my ticket. <laughs> Bay 6, the lady said. 171 pesos. Ah, oh, door 5. Bay 2. Oh, hang on. There the bus is. It's a bit like Victoria was about 15 years ago. It's all like this, door six. I think I'm here. This, I'm at the right place, darling, here. Door six. Is bus ready or I wait? She's got me ticket. <laughs> I don't know if that's my bus out there. <laughs> non aircon bus. Oh, hang on. She checked me in. Mobile. Third bus. You can get in the bus. Which one? Third bus. Third. One, two, three. Okay. I can get in the bus. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going out. We are. We're on aircon bus. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hectic. Which one? This. This one, my friend. Ah, oh, mo mobile. Get the one for. The third, yeah, okay. Just got to keep checking all the time. So we're going on here. Here. Ah, there's a seat. Whoa. <laughs> I can't get in. All right, we're going in. <laughs> okay. I will make myself at home. A little respite. The bus. A few people got off. Busy. Most <laughs> people sleeping. And I've got full aircon. Right here. Yo! The traffic has only just died down. Been on the bus about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. <laughs> and the traffic, oh man, the traffic has died down. <laughs> Been off some funny smells. Just, just past the massive gas works. I knew it was a gas works because it's stuck like back to. Really did. The coastline here. Rick 
be raggedy old bus, but it's all right. Loads to look at out the window. Loving the bus journey. Top tip: if you want to see a real Cebu, <laughs> for all its good, bad, and fugly, get on this bus to Mobile. It's on the left hand side. And look at the window. It is, it is awesome. It's a spectacular visual joyride. We're now in the mountains, coming through the mountains. And I'm just really glad it hasn't started raining. Obviously this would look so much better if the sun was out. <laughs> yeah, look, it's like being up in the mountains of North, it's like being on the Mei Hong Song loop with really poor roads. Very much like Northern Thailand. Awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. It's just shanty. Shanty. Whoa, okay. <laughs> And the odd crazy driver on a moped, just like Northern Thailand, <laughs> it is. It's the first real comparison of the Philippines and Thailand. <laughs> Wicked bus journey. Well, and the road is, is, well up until recently it was a coastal road where you go through all the shipping, the docking, gas works, pipelines and all the industry on the left hand side it's all very very visual having a virtual bus ride look. and there is rain in them clouds it's got to rain at some point it'll probably start raining when I get off the bus whoa and have to wait for a taxi Whoa, well, get you ready, mate. <laughs> get you ready. Wow. Wicked. Highly recommend this journey on a non aircon bus because with the aircon buses all the windows are closed and they're all upmarket with these old buses a they're a lot cheaper b they're relatively comfy and c you can get your head out the window Lovely, lovely bit of bit of shanty. It is awesome, spectacular. So I have to share it, this with you. The journey it is awesome. And the bus hasn't broken down. No. <laughs> no puncher. Nothing. It's just dead good. It's raining. Bum. I think we've got a stop over. Oh man, quick stop. Fueling station, fueling, food station.
bus parking only. Will I get run down by this pink thing? No, I did not. But there is a coastline, look. <laughs> I know it's not sunny. That's the thing. With these wonderful places, they look so much better when the sun's out. Oh man, so I'll a quick stop. I'll be really quick. <laughs> that was a bus to go on my gear, wasn't it? But I just saw I don't have someone building something here. Maybe a house which will be pretty cool to live, to say the least. Um, wow, so here we have the coastline, my first sight. A proper bit of coastline <laughs> down there look oh man oh man right across to the fishing village right there and I bet oh man I don't know wicked wicked shoreline and this would be a wicked place to have a house <laughs> right it's <gasps> a bus stop there Gear still on the bus. I don't know. Just good to stretch my legs and have a walk about because I've been sat there now. I don't know what the time is. It was about half past eight, quarter to nine, I think, when we left. What's the time now? It's 12. Oh, it's just one o'clock. Bang on one o'clock. All right. So say nine, 10, 11, 12. Been four hours already like I say most of it was just bumper to bumper traffic for about the first hour and a half and then we've come through the mountains and it's been all right it's been a really enjoyable bus ride but hey it's just because of the views like I said in the, in the earlier clip only had a little bit of rain it's pretty good it's pretty good so I'm happy I'll see if I can find something that I can consume because that's my biggest issue so far. Just having to make sure my bags are still on the bus. Oh man. Oh man, there's toilets. All oh, right, they do actually have toilets. Okay, it's a little squat I could do about them. Don't need the toilet. I don't know. If I, oh man, they've got chicken. <laughs> and that sweaty. Is it chicken? I don't know. So sweating away. This is pork, right? Pork, pork fat, pork crackling. They like a bit of pork. Oh man, they got jammy donuts. Oh no, without the jam. <laughs> I want something to eat. Peanuts. It's all sticky, sweet stuff. Oh, man food. Real bit of grub. Oh, hang on, got boiled eggs over here. That'd do me. Oh. Oh, boiled egg. Ah, oh, they've got the last one. There's one left. Look in the sweet shop. Got one boiled egg. That's warm. It's only one? Many. Many? Oh, hard boiled egg. Okay, can have three. Yeah. Yay! That's me sorted. I like boiled. I like any eggs. Three. Three a day. If you didn't know why three eggs a day was good because you get all your daily vitamins and minerals from just three eggs you do <laughs> that's it so no need for all them tablets or nothing it's nothing oh wow look at all them <coughs> right hang on because i've got to get money out three boiled eggs 45 pesos under a pound for all my nutritional goods for the day <laughs> okay, right, well, I'll stand there until the bus is ready to go and eat my eggs. Okay, made it. Uh, that's not the bus stop, that's where I just took a bit of shelter. I've got to get in there with you. <laughs> you doubled up. Okay, okay, hang on, I can manage this, buddy. Not a problem. <laughs> oh man, cool. How are you guys in the back? Hi. You good? Let's see you to channel. Yes. Hang on. Vlogging <laughs> a dead horse. What? Yeah. Hang on. I'll, I'll find it for you. Oh. So I got dropped. Got 
Park Town, 3.4 kilometers. Now I was gonna walk, <laughs> but this guy's gotta take me there for 200 pesos. So it's cool. I don't think we're that, that far. <laughs> but it's good having GPS on the phone because you know exactly how far and how long it's gonna take you to get you to destination. So we're we're in a strange automobile. <laughs> and we're and we're doubled up. It's just all good. All right, give us a second. <laughs> oh man, it's been a really good travel day. And I'll be in my hotel in a minute. And I must have been on three different types of transport today. Actually four. Four different types. It's cool. Hotel awaits. Okay, at Le Le Plamero. I'm here, look, name of the hotel, Le Plameros Hotel. Now I went on booking.com and it wouldn't take me credit card. I don't, I don't use a credit card, do I? I but I knew there was availability, so I got the cab to ride here. Uh, I just have to wait. Good big old security gate, look, it's really good. <laughs> Whole family are here, checking me in. I think there's one other guest coming today. And, oh wow, it's pretty good, look. Wow. And they're still celebrating. What what is the celebration they're celebrating still? Celebrate Which one? Senor Santo Niño, Fiesta of Senor Santo Niño. Yes. Yeah, yeah. what do they call it? Uh, the, fiesta. Yeah, fiesta. Uh, celebrating we're celebrating fiesta. Yes. And you finished tonight, right? Oh, yeah. this is the last day of fiesta. We start yesterday until now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm on a bit noisy. And look, oh man, the size of this place. Man, yeah, it's cool. Lots of room. Lots of... Oh, man, the houses look good. Really good. Oh, man, you, you pizza oven? <laughs> it's all right, apart from the noisy neighbours. But, you know, that is it. Oh, man, it looks really cool in there. Got a bit of a sore shoulder. I think that's where I've been carrying my bags. Okay? Yeah, I'm good, darling. Yay. Oh man, the room looks really look the clean room. and tidy. Bed. Yeah, it's all right, it's doable. I can sit there. I've got that, I've got this. Ah, oh, bathroom in here. Wow. It's all right, hot, hot, hot shower. Shower? Hot, yeah. hot. Okay, it's hot water. I have no hot. Water. No hot water? I will give you a kettle. Okay, I have a kettle. I've got a kettle. Are you okay? It's okay? Yeah. I have, I need to go to 7-Eleven. Is it far? 7-Eleven? Uh, it's not far. Just not too far. It's not too but, far? Oh, yeah. 7-Eleven is located in, in the town. I need to rent your oh, bike. Oh, you can rent. No, I've got to rent. I need to rent his bike. <laughs> I do. Ow. Okay. Okay. Okay, right, well, I just need to get his bike rented, sort some money out, and then we'll go and have a happy ending. I don't know where, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Woof, hard work hotel. Party is going on still. House there. I think it's, it's a different celebration to the other one. Oh man, wow, look. Beautiful mountains. Cloud has cleared. I have booked there for two nights. Yeah, I'll, it'll do what I'll do. I'll come here to go and swim, make a swimming with sh whale sharks float. Hang on, hang on, what a load of. A little bit at the end of my street. There's loads of tuk-tuks and that all about here. And I kind of expected it to be a little bit touristy, which as I walk that way could be, but I think it's all to do with this festival that's happening here. Loads of Filipino people arriving. Only for the day, it's not booking the hotel, so I've got to remember where I am. <laughs> now I was going to rent a bike off the woman's husband. I had to agree the price, 750 for the rest of today. Today is now three o'clock, and for tomorrow. And he said, yeah, and then he changed his mind. And then someone else said, oh, I can rent a bike, but 750 a day. So I don't know if they're all like, the white man is in town. <laughs> come and save the world so I got my arse nipped and 
Amen. La say. Amen. All right, let's go festival. Let's have a look, see what's going on. What is all this noise about? I might as well make a living from it rather than being irritable from it. Oh man. Oh Jesus, man. You all right? Oh man, cool. <laughs> it's gonna be a carnival. All these people now, I should have brought my camera. I should have brought my camera. All right, hello. <laughs> I'll soon get perked up. Thank you. Well, you you're going to have a carnival, right? In the street. You are. I think they're all going to. Wow. How are you, darling? Oh, you look absolutely awesome. Awesome. Work it. And you've got the black Jesus. The black Nazarene. Is this guy Santo? Him? Santo Nino. Okay, thank you. Oh, man, you look gorgeous. You really do. I'm going to go and get my camera. <laughs> All these people in traditional dress. You all right? You good? Hello. Hello. And it is the celebration of this guy. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, man. That was really cool, look. All these smiley, happy people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, no, it's good. It's good. I've perked up a bit. <laughs> well, it don't take much to change. Oh man, which is cool. Didn't know what I was going to expect. Oh, you're the guys making all the noise. Man and bongos. Oh man, you know they're all now going out. Yeah, good lad. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Awesome. You all right, buddy? You're looking cool. You're looking really cool. <laughs> so there's all something. G'day. Oh, wow. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. You're welcome, man. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> rather than listening to me having a moan, <laughs> that was all right. I still need happy ending. It's now going to rain, and I do need a moped to get to go and see the whale sharks. Got some kind of games going on here. Hang on. Hold tight. I mean, hold tight. <sighs> walk from the apartment. <laughs> I have, I walked right back into town where I started and then I've walked a little bit more. And I have found myself a nice little restaurant on the smelly, on the smelly, smelly estuary or bit of sea, whatever this is. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but a little bit smelly. Ah, <sighs> man. It's all right. It's all right. All right, we'll do. I have ordered a pizza, a pepperoni pizza. <sighs> Difficult to find, I say it is, it's hard work finding food. And that, and the vegetables, what I see, they're all pitted, they, they don't look good, the veggies, because I believe the ground is contaminated. The, <laughs> I haven't seen, oh mate, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, a bit like Cambodia, is sub Cebu twinned with, what would I say? What was that place? Kampot, Cambodia. But, aha, look, we have the Red Wars. Oh. Somebody asked me what the alcohol was, and I'm sure I looked at it, but it's, it's not seven, it's 6.9, six point something what it is oh, so that was a, that was an interesting travel day 
The uh, funny thing is, that's been the best part of the day. It's been the best part is uh, when I used to travel, traveling was the worst thing about traveling. But now, uh, well, I say when I was in Cambodia, the best thing about that was traveling. And now in Sambu, the best thing is traveling. 6.9 alcohol by volume. I needed to confirm that. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. So now that I have a pizza, which will probably be all right. And then when I walk back, I'll go to 7 Eleven. Ah, oh, what is it? The woman, there's no internet at the hotel. Okay, now that the, the booking said it was 1.5 kilometers from the center where I got dropped off, it was 3.5. Right? <laughs> okay, and it said internet Wi Fi E. They have, they, they don't have any Wi Fi there. The, I was gonna leave. All right, I paid for two nights up front. I said, well, there's no Wi-Fi. I can't earn any money, so I can't live, so I'll have to leave. And so what she's done, she's letting me use the data off of her phone. So I don't bugger off. There's no fridge, but she said I can put whatever I want in the fridge in the main thingy, which is about 60, 70 meters away. So I guess that's what I'll do. I'm there, I've got milk to get. That celebration is gonna go on all night, so I might even make a vlog about going there tonight. I don't know, I might just take my camera. I might just have a few red horses and go and have a night out. Um, oh man, that is it, but... So that is it, that's it, that's it. I'll conclude this vlog. Uh, and I need, I'll probably go and sit in, inside so I can eat the pizza without a smelly river. So cheers. Mm. So thanks for watching <laughs> and until next time au revoir